Good day to everyone. Welcome back to our uh, lecture series in the general mathematics. Our focus today is simple annuity. Simple annuity under the compound interest. Again, I'm Agi, your teacher in general mathematics. Uh, may I encourage you to please uh, support this channel by clicking the subscribe button and uh, the notification bell so that uh, should there be a future lesson posted in this channel you will always be notified and also please uh, have your own calculator so that as we uh, uh, discuss uh, the applications of the uh, uh, simple annuity in a worded problem or application in life uh, you can uh, follow and you can uh, uh, join with my computations. The next thing that we will be discussing is, of course, after the uh, discussion of the future value of simple ordinary annuity, the next thing will be the present value of simple ordinary annuity. Okay, so it says in here the present value of uh, the annuity refers to how much money would be needed today to fund a series of future annuity payments. Or as I have said a while back, how much would be the amount that you will be saving today for you to have this future value in the future, of course. Okay. What would be our working equation? You will notice that uh, as if we have a similar uh, computation. You will notice in here that a uh, while ago, Yung, this one is at the end of our equation in here, and that is the future, okay? Future value of simple ordinary annuity. But you will notice in here it was forwarded, and of course our exponent is negative. We have the same uh, variable, we will be using the same variable. P in here stands for periodic payment, okay? Uh, in your module, I think uh, the one is, uh, the P in here is R in your module, okay? Uh, capital R. Now we have in here a small r, it is the annual rate, of course, and will always be the conversion period or mode of conversion. And T is the time or term, okay? So that is the equation for the simple present value of simple ordinary annuity okay and now uh, let's try to see its application so we have in here suppose so uh, mrs ibarra would like to know the present value of her deposit of 5000 at the end of every three months when the interest is 7% compounded quarterly, how much is the present value of her savings at the end of two years? So the question is, what is the present value of uh, her savings at the end of two years? Before we have this problem, before we compute this problem, let's try to analyze. Is this an example of simple annuity? Yes or no? Of course, yes. Why? Because the payment is every three months. So how many uh, payments in a year? At least we have four. And of course, compounded quarterly. Now, uh, how many application? Uh, how many times that the interest rate is applied in a year? Four times. That's the reason why it's under the simple annuity. Now, you might be saying, uh, my word a while back is uh, you apply the interest rate four times. What I am saying in here is, is the periodical rate. So, mind you, the rate that is given into your problem is always the annual rate. The rate that is applied uh, every conversion period is actually is called to be the periodical rate not the annual rate. So if I say how many times you will be applying the rate in a given year, for example, this one, compounded quarterly, meaning you're going to apply 
four times the periodical rate in a year. So it's not the seven. So what is that periodical rate? A periodical rate is to be taken by, by dividing the annual rate with the mode of conversion or conversion period. So again, periodical rate is to be taken by dividing the annual rate over the given conversion period. The application of, so what is the periodical payment? 5,000 pesos. Conversion period, the value of N is 4. And what is the annual rate? 7 and of course the period of the uh, savings is two years so to solve for the problem state the given so we have in here the given periodical payment is 5,000 the N is uh, 4 the rate is 7% and the uh, uh, term of the problem is two years now, what is the present value? We have in here the working equation. Present value is equal to the periodical payment multiplied by the difference of 1 minus the quantity 1 plus the quotient of rate divided by n raised to an exponent negative nt divided by rate over n. So that is our working equation. Now, let's try to continue having the problem. Okay. So, replace the equation. Um, periodical payment is we have in here P, which is 5,000 pesos. And of course, 1 minus the quantity, 1 plus, what is your uh, annual rate? Okay, annual rate is 7%. Of course, the uh, conversion period is 4. Raised to negative, 4 multiplied by 2, which is 2 years. Divided by, so 0 0.07, which is 7%, over 4. Now, let's continue. Do first this one. So, we have in here, 1 plus 7% uh, divided by 4, which is, we have in here, 0 0.0175 raised to negative 8 course divided by this one which is the result of 7% divided by 4 okay after having the uh, uh, operation of this let's continue just uh, follow K in just type in in your calculator it will give you this present value so 7 so it will give you this present value 37 thousand twenty five pesos point twenty six seven thousand twenty five pesos and twenty six pesos so that is the present value for savings at the end of two years okay present value so um before we end this one again before i end this one again uh, please uh, subscribe and share this uh, discussion to your classmate uh, i hope i made uh, some illustration or discussion uh, to give you at least uh, some explanation to some of your modules and uh, i encourage you to please uh, go over try to uh, watch it again if you did not follow and uh, follow it with your calculator so that uh, uh, you will familiarize with the working equation thank you and uh, more power i hope we can upload again next uh, discussion in the future if this uh, uh, channel will be supported by your subscription and you're sharing to your uh, sharing to your classmates thank you and more power